Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to become a pharmacy technician without any experience, without any schooling, without the certification. I'm gonna tell you guys how you can get into the pharmacy tech field or the pharmacy field. If that's something that you are interested in, if you don't have any, you know, associate's degree, um, you're not able to go to school or you can't pay for school, I'm gonna tell you guys how y'all can do this with no experience. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. Seven, your trap take over. Over. Name another bitch that's cold. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a chauffeur. I got a chauffeur. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. Oh. And that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold it. And that bitch, and I thought that it told, told that bitch. Okay, guys. So if you have been watching my previous videos, I did get let go from my clinical lab assistant job. So I am. So I am in the process of becoming a pharmacy technician and no I do not have a pharmacy tech certification and I have not went to school for pharmacy tech if you guys know me I am Denia and I am 22 years old and I have two babies puppies and I stay by myself so I have went to job court to get five certifications I got phlebotomy I got CMA certified medical assistant I got e EHR specialist I got um, patient care tech and EKG technician so I do not have a pharmacy tech certifications, but I did previous videos on how to get those certifications without any schooling or any experience. So I'm gonna do the same in this video today. So the first thing about getting a pharmacy tech job without experience is to apply. There is a whole bunch of pharmacy technician jobs that need pharmacy tech and you do not need a certification. You don't need experience. You just need a high school diploma or GED. Now, I'm gonna go on Indeed.com and I'm telling you guys, this is where I got hired for most of my jobs, is Indeed.com. Y'all think I'll be, I don't know if y'all think I'll be lying, but I'm dead serious. I go to Indeed.com and I'm literally, I'm gonna I'm screen record for y'all. And I'm literally gonna press, I'm literally gonna type in pharmacy technician. So you go to what? Pharmacy tech, technician, and you put where, and we're gonna put, um, Portsmouth. Okay, so we have Rite Aid, we have Walmart, we have some hospitals, um, we have other, you know, we got Kroger hospitals, other doctors offices, Harris Teeter. Now, here is the main thing. So the first thing I said is to apply, right? You have to apply. Make sure your resume is good. Make sure your resume is nice. You do not have to have you do not have to have experience in the medical field or have a certification, but you still want to make your resume look pretty no matter what you have, okay? The second thing I'm going to say is apply to a pharmacy tech job that requires no experience. So like here, I see Walmart. I know for a fact Walmart you need experience. You need experience and you need the certification. Um hospitals hospitals pharmacy techs you need experience and you also need the certifications the main ones i'm gonna say that that hire you without experience and without certifications is the i think it's called a convenience store is it, are they called convenient like walgreens Rite Aid, um cvs um harris teeter i even seen a cvs and target stuff like that but the ones pharmacy tech jobs that are in the hospital and at like certain doctors offices um are not going to hire you without experience for one and definitely not that certification they'll probably hire you if you have the certification and no experience but they're not going to hire you without both but stuff like i said like harris teeter kroger places that have a little pharmacy section for you to pick up your medicine drop up medicines um see if you get prescriptions refilled stuff like that so like i said i would try kroger harris teeter rite aid walgreens cvs and i even seen a target with like a pharmacy in it i see one target like that i would choose stores like that instead of trying to go to somewhere like walmart walmart you definitely need a certification or from what I'm, it might be different where you are, but where, where I'm at Walmart, you need a certification. So I know for sure hospitals, you need a certification for a pharmacy tech. But 
like all the other jobs, certification jobs that I've talked about in previous videos, this pharmacy tech job is trained. Once you get in your training, once you get out your training, what I mean by that is when you get in, they're going to start training you on pharmacy tech stuff. They're going to start tra train training you on pickup. They're going to start training you on drop off. They're going to start training you on drive through. Yes, some pharmacies have a drive through. So that customer service got to be on point. You deal with um, customers on the phone. You deal with customers face to face. And of course you fill prescriptions and pill bottles. So this job, they train you, certain stores train you, all the stores that I named, they train you for you to get your certification. So once you decide, oh, I want to be a pharmacy tech, you apply, type in your area, you apply, and you look for, as a pharmacy tech in training, you will receive training with our exclusive Rite Aid Pharmacy Technician Training and Certification Programs. Most pharmacies that are not in the hospital have certification programs so after about being in that job for about six months nine months depending on which company you're working for they will go ahead and push you to pray they'll pay, go ahead and push you to take that certification and they will pay for it the first time after the first time and you fail it they will either fire you or they will let you keep trying it but they only going to pay for it at one time i know the company that i'm with if i fail the certification the first time they're going to start putting me in front of store like i'm not going to be able to work in the pharmacy no more i'm going to be at the cash register cash register in the front of the store until i pass that test then i'm going to be able to move back to the back so i feel like this job is good for people that want to be in the medical field but can't pay for school or is not able for, to pay for school or you know different life situations going on you're not able to go to full school full time this way you're able to work full time or part time whatever you want to do um you're getting paid training because my job right now i'm getting paid training and you also will be able to gain experience in the medical field working with patients and you will learn different types of pills and what it do and what it's meant for and which pills you're not allowed to mix with and what you're not allowed to do with certain pills so if you move from it say say you do the pharmacy tech job right and you move from it no matter where you go you will know the medicine aspect of of the medical field basically so say you become that pharmacy tech right then you end up then you say hey i want to go to the hospital but i don't want to do pharmacy tech i want to be a, a nursing care partner or i want to be a phlebotomist or I want to do, do this, I want to do that. With that experience of being a pharmacy tech, you know almost everything. You know the prescriptions, you know what doctors prescribe, why doctors prescribe certain things and what prescriptions they use. So depending on what you do in the hospital that you go to, if a patient's having a reaction, you'll know why, you'll know what medications is not mix with this, especially if you're a nursing care partner, because you got to give your patient, well, you don't give them meds, um, you probably take care of them after they get their meds, but you will understand why they're acting this way or um, what's the possibilities of them doing this or drinking that or eating this because you already know what pills they're taking, what they're used for, how long the pill is going to last, um, what the pill does, everything like that. So I feel like pharmacy tech, the pharmacy technician is a great starter to be in the medical field. Um, Yes, I love all my other certifications, but this certification, this certification, I feel like will help me the most, and especially with me being a nurse. Now, if you're a nursing student and you want to know more of the medicine side, I would say pharmacy tech is good as well, because you're going to be passing out meds. You're going to need to know what the med does. You're going to need to know how long the it affects, depending on what pill it is. You're going to need to know what you can't mix. You need to, you need to know if this patient takes this medication, how long, um. Is it before they can take the next medication? You need to know stuff like that. And how many pills they're supposed to take and stuff like that. So I feel like this pharmacy tech job can help all the way around. No matter what type of job you're looking for in the medical field. Because I feel like no matter where you're going to be at this pharma. If you have pharmacy tech, it will help you all the way around. And I'm not saying that just because I got the job. I've been thinking about it before i got the job but i had got my flip my dream phlebotomy job instead so i knew i couldn't do both because i was hired for both but i knew i couldn't do both so i decided to do phlebotomy but i knew that this job would help me with school and help me understand the medicine aspect of 
you know patience and nursing and reactions and stuff like that so that is the best way to become a pharmacy tag without experience the only thing you need is a high school diploma or a ged half of these jobs you do not even need experience in the medical field like i named before rite aid harris teeter kroger um cvs walgreens they all have jobs pharmacy tech jobs that they train now each training is different some companies they'll train you and you will get your um national certification they'll pay for your national certification some companies train you and they only pay for your certification to be working there but don't let that stop you still be on your grind if a company is having you training paying you to train and paying you to be a pharmacy tech and they are only going to certify you for that store take that certification let them pay for it take that certification for that store then you do research yourself if this is something you really want to do you do research yourself and look to see how can you take the national certification because i know nha which is a national certification um website uh company or organization they will let you take the test if you have all your hours and um all your all your class hours and depending on what the pharmacy tech credentials all you have to do is take it from your job and give it to them and then they will see if you qualify for that test if you've been there long enough things like that and then you could pay for it yourself i know it's, i know it's like paying i gotta pay for a test but you could pay for it yourself and then be national nationally certified and then you can end up making 20 something dollars most of the companies that only certify you for the store are not paying you top dollar I'm not saying pharmacy techs get paid top dollar, but they get some good chump change, okay? Um, I got paid, I'm getting paid the same amount I was when I left the hospital, and I'm not even certified. But we're going to say this again. I'm getting paid the same amount that I was getting paid at the hospital, and I'm not certified. Mind you, my hospital job, you didn't even need a certification. You didn't have to take a test, no nothing, but I was still getting paid a decent amount. And I'm getting paid the same exact from cents from dollars to cents i'm getting paid the same exact that i was getting paid at the hospital without being certified so if i was certified i would be getting like 25 dollars 20 in around that range around that mid range because i don't i don't want to tell you how much i get paid but if the if the store is only certifying you for that store and not nationally or at least state certified take what they taught you and go take the national certification test paying that 150 dollars whatever it's gonna hurt but it's gonna be worth it because when you get that certification and then you go to a job that play, pay top dollar you could be getting like 25 dollars baby so it's just like put into it if it's something that you really want if it's a store that's only certifying you for the store don't take that as a loss don't take that don't be negative about it just keep pushing because you can always go back and look for other organizations to get nationally certified by now make sure they're accredited so i'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, put the website that i got all my certifications from and they're accredited and i nationally certified all five of my certifications are from this um organization so i'm gonna put that there for you guys so if you become a pharmacy tech and your store is talking about some you only certified for their store baby go take a test on the national certified website okay and become nationally certified you can start traveling you can start moving from store to store you can have two jobs as a pharmacy tag one full-time one part-time making money twenty dollars an hour at each job you know what like just think about it like it's a lot and that's what any certification really but the pharmacy tag you're dealing with medicine so you're gonna get a little bit a little bit more money a little bit more money because you're dealing with pills you're dealing with patient prescriptions you know you don't, you could really hurt somebody for not putting in the right amount of pills not putting in enough putting in too much because you know all the people they look at it one time look at direction one time they start popping them shits every day so hey you give somebody you made a prescription for somebody they're supposed to take two pills a day so that means they get they're supposed to take two pills a day for 30 days so that means they get 60 pills right tell me why you put 100 in there 
some older people, like I said, just look at it and then start taking them until they're gone. You don't know what can happen. You, you can really hurt somebody for not doing this stuff, right? So that's why I would say if you really want to do it, get into it. But if you don't want to be around pills and stuff, don't do it. And please, 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 please do not steal these people's pills. Please do not steal these people's pills. Don't steal these people's supplies. Your ass will go to jail. Okay, you will go to jail. They do do drug tests to get in. Yes, they do. Um, they also do pop-ups because I mean you're around pills. What 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 like what? You're around pills. Some stories that I've heard already just from training of people getting fired. I couldn't even think. Minds blown. Like taking pills on a job type stuff. Like weird, crazy stuff. Back to what I was saying. Um, this job, this field is very in high demand right now. Um. We need a lot of pharmacy tax, especially where I'm working at. And from the looks of it, I might need to start applying to some of these up here as well. Because I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing a lot of jobs and you know I need some money. So I might apply to a second job. But yeah, um I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like I said, all you gotta do to become a pharmacy technician without any certification is apply. Find a pharmacy tech or a pharmacy that does not, that there is no need for education, no need for, for you to be certified or anything. They will most likely say training in the description box of the job title. Um, so apply, look for it, and when you become certified, Branch off, look for jobs that will pay you more. Um, look for jobs that travel or pay you top dollar. Like, once you become certified as a pharmacy tech, you can make some money, especially in the hospital. So, I'm gonna just put that there, leave it there, let it soak, let it, let it marinate, cook a little bit. But yeah, it's really easy to become a pharmacy tech. I didn't know it was that easy. I mean, I knew it was that easy when I first applied back then, back then. But I did not want to do a video on it because it's not, it wasn't something that I was pursuing at the time. So I didn't want to seem like I was just making content. Now I can actually make it because I'm actually in the midst of taking tests and modules to become a pharmacy tech. So. Yes, that's how I'm going to do it. Um, I've never been a pharmacy tech, never been around pills, never counted pills, nothing. So this is something new to me. So I am not certified, I'm uneducated on pharmacy, but I will be certified in about six months. So yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be posting once a week, if not more than once a week. We're coming back to back to back to back to back back with these videos you guys and I hope you guys liked the video I hope I was able to help you it was really straightforward easy slight work literally apply find a pharmacy tech that will train you and pay for your certification if a job is only certifying you for that store you could still use that to take your national certification somewhere else you would just have to pay for it but trust me it will be worth it but you do need your high school diploma or your GED to get into a job like this so yeah y'all stay safe keep your mask on keep your hands washed and i'll see you guys in my next video